was it? Why have I never gotten a good looking antler deer? <laughs> said he shot a buck over in the spot that I was at yesterday. So I was wondering if they were going to be in there because we left so much ground scent dragging that other deer out. But apparently they're still in there. They're still comfortable right now. So hopefully we get something to come by this way and we can fill uh, our third tag here with Tim's deer. We got a lot of, a lot of morning left, so we'll see what happens.
reason we do that is just basically for it's kind of a deer management thing there's a ton of coyotes in here especially this year we've seen four or five different coyotes and Tim's already shot two but they affect the deer population we're just trying to keep their numbers down and keep that under control and it's all private land so we pretty much have to do that ourselves some issues. Yeah, that's not the only issue. There's no deer. That would help. Deer. Get it out of the woods. Uh, grab some breakfast and go right back a little earlier than we did yesterday. Well, uh, Ben said he couldn't find his deer. So he's down there right now looking for it. Tim's moving around the other side of the hill. So, uh, hopefully we find it. The neighbors were shooting, so hopefully it didn't get scared off to the neighbor's side. Climb a tree. It's a bad shot. Oh, oh, is it? Should have got the deer right there. Right here. Yeah. Why have I never gotten a good-looking antler deer? <laughs> you know, I dream I had last night. The deer had a weird antler. <laughs> you know what? I thought I was Ugh. when I shot it. I saw it jump and then run. It All I remember I is Tim saying, you look for the tail to drop. Yep. Right? Tail drops means you hit it. But I didn't see that because the gun was in the way. Yeah. Yeah. So I was like, oh man. Really well, if it flinches though, that's a good sign. Yep. I hope I, hope, uh, I, hope I hit this thing. That's why yesterday I was so positive I hit my deer. It's because it, it flinched. And then it walked a little bit. And then it ran a little bit. So I, I know. Kind of a goofy position he ended up in. Is it warm at least? No. No. It's cool. No, cool. he's cool. Yeah. That was a goofy looking rack though. Hey, at least you got both sides on? this time. <laughs> goofy looking guy. Yeah, I was like, what, is, what planet are you on? That's a good looking rack. That's beautiful, Ben. Yeah, there's a bed there's beds all over this hill. Yeah, so no, no. that means they're just sitting in here. Not moving anywhere. No. Dude, we walked in on a deer. Did you, did? you both did? Yeah, well we were together. Yeah. Well, Ben found his deer. There wasn't much of a blood trail apparently. But uh, yeah, it's down in this bedding area. So apparently they haven't left even though we've been tramping all over here yesterday. Actually the trail that we dragged the other deer out is right behind me. But uh, yeah, he's gonna clean it out. We're gonna drag it out a little bit later. Hopefully we'll come back in later t later today. But, yeah, so we got two on the board. So, uh, yeah, I woke up this morning and got all kitted up and then came into the woods. This is my first time in that corner of the property here. Um, I got set in a pretty comfortable spot with my feet up on a piece of wood and my back to a fallen log and kind of settled in. Um, it was super cold this morning, so I heard him coming. 
because the snow was loud. Uh, I thought it was a doe at first, so I texted the other guys because uh, I just wanted them to know there might be a buck coming, following behind. And as the light started getting better, it got legal time, open season, and um, he he turned his head to look at me, and I could see I could see I could finally see the antlers just because of the snow backdrop. And uh, so I pulled my rifle up and took the safety off but I couldn't see the front sight very well because it's iron sights. So I waited until he had a really good backdrop and then I took the shot. Um, it was higher than I wanted to and further back, uh, but it was a good kill. He only made it about, what, 30 yards or 40 yards, something like yeah, that? Yeah, something like that. Yeah, it was, a, it was a little bit further than I was comfortable taking. It was probably a 100-yard shot. Something like that, something like a 100-yard shot. Um, but yeah, got them cleaned out now. We're just waiting for the for the other horsepowers, other than ours, to come up and uh, help us get get the food out of the woods. So, antlers are a little bit uh, interesting looking, but that's uh, that's kind of uh, my luck so far. So, good day. follow the safety rules people let's not post that <laughs> That just about does it for this weekend. Uh, Tim's might be coming out later, see if he can get something. Like later, maybe next weekend, but. Yeah. Uh, pretty successful weekend, I think. Overall. Yeah. But, yeah, I would really, really like yeah. that. Yeah. Lots of fun getting out with the guys, and uh, could you, uh, see you next time. Tim, when you get to the butcher, could you just grab my heart?